Come on, put your hands together. Come on, put your hands together for the choir. Come on, put your hands together. I'm going to come down and have some church this evening. Amen. How many come to praise him this evening? Oh, don't pray with me now. How many come to have some church this evening? It looked like homecoming out there. I wonder if homecoming in you. Jeremiah says like fire shut up in my bones. And I wonder how many got some fire in you. You look good with them church clothes on. Yes, they look like the clothes say, but I wonder if they say But what's on our inside? Can I preach up in here today? I don't want to trouble you long. Somebody say call 911. It's some fire in here. If it ever been a time to quit coming to church to get your clothes saved. And you still leave the same. Raggedy on the inside. Messed up on the inside. Wardrobe saved with you. When you reach up in here, say, neighbor, it's time for me to get saved. You hear me? That's what homecoming is about. Back when Pastor Wes and all of us come up and had a moaning bit. And we had to come down and get on that moaning bit. Some had to change inside of us. And I wonder today how many really want to change. That you played yesterday, yesterday yeah. thinking you're going to hit a lottery, yeah. and you hit the power ball this morning, yeah. because you're not in Watkins, yeah. you're not in Walker. Yeah.
And then when I pay it by seven and a half, I can see a old wash bottle. Can I preach up in here? Just sitting out there in the yard. Go around on the back porch, you see some cane poles. Well, Nelson got real and raw now. But there was some cane poles. Somebody say you at home. That's homecoming. When you can go back and remember where the Lord has brought you from. Somebody say, I want to remember. I don't want to go back, but I want to remember because it keep me where I'm at today. When I broke hand me down then. See, your sister was a little older than you, so you didn't get to wear her clothes. But you had your own clothes. But Wes and I also had brothers. We had to wear each other clothes, amen. And when we came home, we had to take our school clothes off. Kids now don't have no bad tennis shoes. Oh, they tennis shoes good. We don't have some church up in here, but I need you help. I need your help up in here because I want you to let go and, and let God have his way. That's a nice outfit you got on. Them hats are pretty. All that. But I want you to sweat it out. I want you to get so hot that you would think you in hell. You hear me? Somebody say that's hot. That's when you let go and let God have his way. We work preachers too much. Amen. Trying to pump you up to get you hot. We work musicians and choirs up trying to preach you up, sing you up. You ought to be up. Right. Nobody clap when I say it from hand me down. Nobody clap that we don't take out wash pot. Nobody clap. Nobody say thank you, Lord. Nobody said a word. Everybody just sitting back. Turn the air off. We're gonna go, pal. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. We have gotten so spoiled. We have gotten so spoiled. I mean, it's scary. We've gotten so spoiled. But I talked to the Lord today and, and yesterday and last week when I was off in training in school. And, and I talked to him and, I, and the Lord spoke to me and he said, you take this word down there to the people. And he said, you let them know this word. Let us pray. Father God, as we come, homecoming again. Lord, you, you've done it again. Devil tried to steal, kill, and destroy me. But you've done it again. Almost lost my mind. But you've done it again. Friend, loved one, and family call me everything but a child of God. But you've done it again. And now, Father God, as I stand behind this book bowl, do it again. Do it again. Let me decrease and you increase. That I can say a word to encourage someone to run on. See what that ain't gonna be. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In the book of Job, as we come on this homecoming even Job 13, 15, and Job 15, 14. Put a little bit of ready for that. Job was a man that loved God. Chapter 1, he said he was perfect under God, and he just done everything right with God. Well, every time you're doing things right with God, the devil don't like it when you're blessed like that. You hear me? I'm telling you, every time you try to do right with others and doing it for God and being right by God, the devil wants to try you. And then every now and then, pastors, that God will pull the hedges back and let it happen. We find Job here in Job 13. Those who are able to stand with me. We find here in Job 13, 15, Job was in a terrible predicament in his life. He had never been there before. Anybody ever been somewhere where you've never been before in life? And, and you love God, and you serve God, and you worship God. Anybody ever been outside me? Job said, though he slay me, yet will I what? Trust in him. And then this last part here, 
that Job said, although he slay me, but, but, I will maintain mine, right. not my neighbor's, right. my own way. Somebody said, we got some low down ways. I will maintain my own way before him. And then let's turn over to chapter 14, if you don't mind. Amen, amen, I believe it's 14, 14. Job says, if a man die, All right. shall he yeah. live again all the days of what? Of my appointed time. See, yeah. I want you to know today, we all got an appointed time. To do that. All the days of my appointed time, a, a, a appointed time, will I what? Till what? Till my change come. I nicknamed this young man that's standing in front of me a, a name that he never heard before. I nicknamed him years ago when he started singing to me. I nicknamed him after the man that wrote this record. I want to use for a subject, a change going to come. All right. You can have your seat. I, 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 I nicknamed him, Wes. I, 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 I nicknamed him. I, I, I wasn't too old when this young man began to sing. Y'all going to pray with me up in here. Somebody say a change. A change. Gonna come. I, I used to want to preach when I was his age. I, I used to I used to want to be in the Baptist church preaching when I was eight and nine years old. All right, when all I used right. to ride down a big road like this probably used to be on my bicycle, my other two friends, and we used to just break into church. It wasn't locked. So we didn't have to break in there. We could just open the door. Can I preach up in there? And I would rush to the pulpit and and Bobby would sit over there, and Leon and Little Red would sit over there in the mother boat. They was my deacons at eight years old. Man. And I used to preach to them at eight. Somebody said a change is going to come. And, 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 and every now and then, I, I go back to that. And, and, and I want to let you know today, these words of change going to come was written in 1964. How old are you, son? 13. I was 11 years old when this young man, the late Sam Cook, wrote the words to this song, A Chain Gonna Come. In every piccolo, somebody say piccolo. In every jukebox, I feel like preaching up in here today. Somebody say homecoming. Everybody don't know what a piccolo is, but a few of y'all might know what a jukebox is, but it's sitting in a corner in a little house, uh, a little juke jerk, one way in and then get a preach up in here today. And every now and then somebody will slip a quarter and put it in, All right. in the piccolo of the, of the jukebox. Get up in here. They would put it in there and they would play this record. I was born by the river in a little town. He asked me what I was going to say to them. I don't never know what the Holy Ghost is going to do. I just get up and cry. Somebody said I didn't get up. A change is going to come. Sam Cook wrote this record, and every jukebox that a piccolo that was on, it was scratched. It was strapped because they played it. Oh, yeah, them, Sister Gina, they played it. You know what I'm talking about. So much. Sam Cooke had wrote this record, and every picture around the country, they played this song. Say, neighbor, a change gonna come. In the lyrics to that song, Sam knew the word running. He said, I was born by the river. But he said, I've been running ever since. Can, can I preach up in there? Ever since I was eight years old, uh, around your age, a little older, I knew what the Lord wanted me to do, but I didn't want that change to come. I began to run. Somebody say run. Somebody say you can run, but you can't hide. Can I preach up in here? He said running, and also in that song, he used the word, it's been hard living. Yeah. Oh, I wish I could preach up in there. Y'all ain't like y'all ain't never heard it before. I'm the only secular man up in this house. That's how I I so damn He said it's been hard living. And then he said, I'm afraid. Oh, I wish I had some. Somebody say, don't come. Somebody say, push your come on, put your hand He said, I'm afraid to die. Got some hard living. Is anybody going through some hard 
hard living? Is anybody been through some hard living? Is anybody think you're about to die or going to die? Right. And you have become afraid. Right. But I come by to tell you, on, if you hang in there with Jesus, yeah. I wish I had time to put this out there. If you hang in there with Jesus, from eight years old to around 45 and 43, a change is yeah. going to come. He said, he said, come on, preach, preach. He said, I'm afraid. He said, I'm afraid. And when I look in and out of the church, people are still running. Huh? People are still running, and they are afraid not to die. They're afraid not to die. But they are, but, but, but they are afraid to come to Jesus. See, I came to Jesus as I was. I didn't have no pinstripe suit. I came to him with me. Wound and sad. But I found in him a resting place. And you didn't make me glad. She didn't make me glad. You hear me? It was he. So it's been a long, a long time coming. But I know. Crazy. A change gonna come. If she's acting crazy, a change gonna come. If your test life is not right, a change gonna come. If your boy acting wrong, a change Running, 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 but, but afraid to come to Jesus. Running and afraid. Second Timothy said this. This is what he had to plan in Timothy. Say, this is what he had to plan in Timothy. Second Timothy 1 and 7. Jesus got to plant this spirit. Somebody says it's a spirit. It's not a flesh. I used to couldn't go nowhere without boo boo scoo boo and doo doo them. They was in the flesh. But now I ride every day with surely goodness and mercy. Can I put you up in here? See, if you ever get rid of that flesh that's around you, you can get some spirit up in you. Whenever you can get rid of the Facebook and, 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 and all this other stuff and get in people, you can get some spirit up on you. Can I preach up in here? Let me move on. I'll be there what they say. See, Second Timothy 1 and 7, he said, For God hath not given us a spirit of fear, but power, love, and what? Say, neighbor, a change gonna come. It's amazing how close we can get to all change. Can you preach up in here? I used to get so close, and I, I used to tell the Lord, ain't no Come on now. Can you pray for In time, my stomach started feeling better. I couldn't even wait to my chain come. I was right. You say you were through with him. But time, you got to feel it a little better. Come on, ladies. You went right back to it. Jesus to let your change come. Can I preach up in here? The reason why you keep doing bad, living bad, looking bad, is because you can't wait on your Oh, I was say that Say that he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. It's amazing how cold we get to all change and we turn back. We turn back, running and afraid, Brady, running and afraid, God, 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 refusing to become a new creature in Christ Jesus. Not no new clothes, not no new man, not no new woman, not no new job, not all this new stuff. I'm talking about a new creature on your inside. So if don't nobody know it but you, if they don't know it, you know you've been drinking. Therefore, if any man be in what? 
I'll be glad. Let me have a button jacket and check again. I'll be glad. I'll be glad when some people get in Christ. Y'all don't mind if I preach to this. When they get in Christ. See, gentlemen, there's a difference from just being in the church. There's a difference from being in the church. But you got to be in Christ. I used to be in church, but I wasn't. We worry about numbers and how many we got. And they ain't in Christ. And we ain't got nobody in Christ. They here today. We can't change people. I don't care how much oil you put on them. You can't change nobody. You can put a down you can put a down ring on a donkey. Can I put you for I mean, I don't care what you pin on that donkey. It on somebody. I don't care. You can get him on bankhead and take him to Buckhead. If he ain't got none, she ain't got none of that big head up out of her. She ain't no get none of that. Come on, man. You can't put the Bible in nobody. You can't make the Bible live in nobody. They got to meet that train. And then they can say when the train comes, they got to meet. But we keep trying to make folks be saved. Who don't want to be saved right now? Because we know they need to be saved right now. They don't know they need to be saved. Come on, Spirit. You see, you see, you see, you see, you see, you, you, you see a change going to come, people. It's up to them to be in Christ. And whenever you get in Christ, you will become a what? Say, neighbor. Neighbor. You've got to be in Christ. You see, when you are of the world, so that's what gets you here. When you are of the world, what is of the world, Pastor Spitz? See, some people don't come to church to learn. They just come to sit on a pew. Come on. When you are of the world, you still got lust of the flesh. Huh? Lust of the eye. And the pride of life. Can't say nothing to you. You get mad. Can't even holler and look at you wrong. You get mad. Can I preach up in here? Because you are of the world. Well, when you are in the world, you no longer have lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. But when you get in him, a change is going to come. Homecoming. Somebody say homecoming. 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 What? I believe in my sanctified soul. Homecoming is a time to celebrate. Can you hear me, brother? It's time to give praise, amen, for down the road to Miami and back up the road when it was raining last week when I left. Couldn't see in front of me. Blind me. Rain. Had to pull to the side. Anybody ever been there? Foggy and all this and cars shooting by. The Lord made a way out of nowhere. That's what homecoming is about. To come and celebrate him. Give him praise and give him glory for him making a way. I wish I had time to preach this thing up for him. And give him the glory for the change he has made and is making in our what? In our life. Say neighbor. It's a bad wind. That never change. Because simply because we are living in a time. We are living in a season. Don't get scared. Don't get scared, Pastor. Hush, boy. Well, don't get scared. We are living in a season. Everywhere you look, in the church and out of the church, people are getting more selfish. Where your phone at, man? People are getting more You got your phone on you? Who got a cell phone? Let me have it. People are getting more selfish. Put it on the picture thing. People are getting more selfish. And everywhere you look, don't, don't worry about it. You don't know nothing about cell phone, day. <laughs> everywhere you look, everywhere you look, let me hit that button. I can get to it right there, okay. But anyway, they get to the camera. Uh -huh. Instead of them taking a picture of y'all, they do what you call what? Yeah. And all they see is what? Yeah. That's that, right there. 
we so much into this selfish world. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, when people get from all they do is take pictures of them saying, yeah. you can go to the Grand Canyon and take a picture. Boom. You can't see the Grand Canyon for what? <laughs> A change gotta come when you quit looking at yourself and you start looking at others who are hurting around you, others who are applauding and need a little help. Quit looking at yourself how good God done made you look and see how somebody else look good. What you look? Selfish self. Huh? Somebody say, quit, quit. We're into this selfish world. So hung up on. Them say yeah. it's a bad wind yeah, right. that never changes. Right. Self is always about me, myself. I can't hear y'all. Say they were selfish. You see, I ain't hit nobody today. A lot of times I preach, baby, people think I'm talking about me. They really do because it's so true. God is. He always talking about all of us. All of us in a mess. Take it away. 
and in every branch that, that bears fruit, he prunes it. That's a hurt thing. When Jesus has to prune us, we get too high and mighty. It's our way or no way. You hear me, Diane? Every now and then, he has to prune us. Somebody say, slay us. It, it, it is that, 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 that bring it forth more fruit. Yeah. Every time he prunes us, my brother, he gonna let us bring forth some more fruit. Yeah. Every time we get broke, he gonna give us some more money. Yeah. But all we gotta do is wait till our change yeah. come. We gotta get up and help the helper. Right. We can't sit back and wait on somebody yeah. to give us something and do something. I ain't at nobody, yeah. but the church folk don't like pruning. Yeah. They don't like pruning. Yeah. They don't like the word because the word Spend some time that that that, that our ways. Come on, come on. See, he wanna prune us so he can change our little low down ways. Do you hear me, brother? Do you hear me, dude? We got some bad ways. That's why he said in Second Corinthians, Second Chronicles seven fourteen, if my people, y'all ain't gonna help me preach up here. That's all right. Who are called by my name? We all are called by name, but they didn't wanna turn from what. That wicked way. If a change gonna come, yes, you got to learn how to maintain your way. Yes, you got to know how to maintain them. You got to know how to keep your way. You got to know. But see, I know people sometimes by their way. They can't maintain their way. What are you seeing, Pastor Spill? What they once were, they, are, they still live. All right. If they cuss you out when they wouldn't say it, sooner or later, they're going to cuss you out again. Because they haven't changed. A change out, you hear them say, I'm going to get you back. Same folks should never try to do what? Get go back. But once what you want, that's why all things got to do what? When pass away. And all things got to become what? Throughout the Bible, those who trusted, somebody say trusted, yes. right? Those who trusted in the Lord always all also believe. If you trust, you gotta believe. She that right. this morning, right. Those who trust, they believe yeah. that a chain was gonna work. Oh. If you're gonna trust the Lord, you got to believe yeah. that what? A change is gonna work. Oh. A change is gonna come. Trust and believe the twins. That's right. <laughs> they twins. Yeah. They they, they they not fraternal. That's right. They twins. Right. They got to be to. Yeah. to get, they can't go separate. Right. You can't trust and don't. Right. You hear me? That's what's wrong with you. One trust trying to pull you here, but you don't believe pulling you there. Right. You can't get the chain coming till you make them come as one. Write them down. Somebody say trust right. and, and believe right. that a change is going to. Come. This is why when Job, y'all know the story, when he lost his seven cattle, I'm not out of here now. He lost, and he had to bury his seven sons and what? And his three dogs. And this is what I love about it, then sickness came upon him. You know, I hate to go secular sometimes, fam, but that was a guy by the name of Bobby Womack. You didn't know him, right? Bobby wrote a song years ago for him saying, Nobody wants you when you're down and out. I'm about to get out of here. I think they wake up in the second and they act like they don't know him. So me and you just talk about it. When you're down and out. But I know somebody.
can be breaking loose yeah. on your yeah. outside. Yeah. Joe knew it, but his friends didn't. Yeah. Can I preach up in here? Yeah. When I got saved, my friend didn't want right. to be saved. Yeah. You hear me? You got church folk still don't want to be saved. Yeah. Because they friends uh, ain't saved. Yeah. They don't go to hell with their friends. Yeah. Their friends have Super Bowl and they want to show up at the Say, neighbor, throw your hands up, pop. 
say, neighbor, a change. What's going on with us? 